Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the Microsoft Solver tool. The Solver tool falls under one of those tools that are called the what if analysis tools. And what it does is you can optimize a value uh, based on some adjustable cells and also some constrained cells or constrained values. So let's say in our example uh, we want to maximize our profit here between selling profit product A, B, and C. So basically this would be our target cell that has a formula. It's going to be some of all the profits from each of the individual product cells. Now the adjustable cells, these are cells that the solver will uh, adjust or make changes to in order to maximize that target cell profit. Now there's also constrained cells. You can also select cells where um, they're constrained by some value. Let's say, for example, uh, you have to sell at least uh, 50 units of product A, 10 units of product B, or uh, 5 units of product C, um, etc. So it will constrain those cells. Um, so what you can do is to start using Solver, you have to go into the Data tab and under the Analysis group is this Solver button. Now the Solver button may not show up here for some folks. Um, basically it's an add-in in Excel and I'll go ahead and show you where you can add that in after we just go through this brief example here. So once I click the Solver, you'll see that I have my target cell, my changing cell which are the adjustable cells, and the constraints which are these constrained cells. So if I click Solve, it will provide an answer and basically it's maximizing the profit. We have 5400 here and this is a very simple example and it's probably pretty obvious here that the uh, it would select product B because product B has the most profit um, $18 versus 13 and 10 for product uh, respect of the product A and C and once you have the solver results you can also get reports. Uh, I'm not too sure about the sensitivity limits reports but the answer reports will provide you another tab of information or data here and basically it will show you the target cell, the adjustable cells and your constraints. So how do you get this uh, solver add-in? So what you need to do is you go into the uh, office button and go under Excel options and under the add-ins it will show you the active application add-ins and inactive. So you can see Solver is active right now. And Solver is an Excel add-in here. And you just click, click Go. It will bring up this add-in uh, dialog box. So if I click, because I have it checked here, so it's part, it's going to show up in my uh, data tab. But if I unchecked it and clicked OK, you'll see that it disappeared. So that's where you go, go get it. So I'm going to bring it back. Go back to the Office button, Excel Options, Add-ins, and make sure you, we have Excel Add-ins here. You can see that it's one of the inactive add-ins right now. So I'll go ahead, click Go, click the checkbox, and click OK, and now it's back. Let me go ahead and delete this, this Answer Report tab, and let's just bring I've already brought in the previous values from the table head here into the a copy of sheet one. And now it's, I'll kind of go through it in detail what um, we're trying to do with Solver here. So I'd click Solver. Basically, I don't even have to select uh, anything yet. Maybe I just go ahead and click Solver. And my target cell is that cell, so F5. So I want to I want to set the target cell equal to the mo the maximum value. You can see here you can also do a minimum value or you can select you can select the radio button for value of and select some kind of um, your own custom value. Now the cells that I, that we're changing here is B2 to B4. So we're telling Excel you can change these cells here for product A, B, and C for the units. Um, it can also guess. So this is very interesting where it can guess if I if you select uh, a, a, table, a portion of the table here, Microsoft can try to guess. Excel, the solver will try to guess which ones uh, should need to change. Now we have our constraints here. 
Now in our example it's very simple. We just decide to use the constraints where B2 we need to sell of course more than zero. B3 we want to sell more than zero and B4 we want to sell more than zero. And in cell B5 we want to make sure that the total is 300 or less. We have 100 units to sell. Uh, oops, so I selected B5 and it changed the uh, changing cells here. So let me go delete that. So when we when we when we add these, well, let me go ahead and delete this. And I'll show you what ha what happens when you add them. So I delete. I just delete two. I'll go ahead and add another one. It'll bring up a, another dialog box where you can select a cell reference. So I select. I deleted two constraints, so let me add those two constraints back in. So our cell reference, we want that to be greater than zero, because we don't want the solver to sell a negative amount of units, because it could do that. Let me add that in there. And we want the total to be less than or equal to 300. We're going to always sell 300 units of something. I'll click OK. It'll bring me back to the solver parameters and that's where we have our value, our constraints here. And we know that we're going to be changing the cells from B2 to B4 here. And we want to set our target cell to the maximum value. We're going to maximize our profit here. So if we click Solve, it will bring us back to our $5,400. And just click OK and that will just save those values there. So this is a very very simple overview of how to use Solver in Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.